All right, greetings all. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of uh, uploads going on at the moment. I'm uh, managed to uh, get a couple of achievements of a Kestrel run I was doing in the Fast and Light, and I'm also uploading some of the Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup episodes I did. Um, anyhow, I'll assume you've watched those before you've watched this video. And uh, what we'll be doing this one, I've managed to clear out my um, first few levels of the Zot run here. I've got a little bit more to go, but not too much. I should be fine for the most part with the current gear I have. I'm actually thinking a little bit about uh, what I'm going to do here. I've let this uh, Cloak of Cold Resistance get really damaged by um, acid corrosion and stuff like that. Um, this helmet was who I got damaged from corrosion a while ago. I'm currently wearing these that have, uh, you know, they're good for like uh, accuracy but horrible for damage. So they're not the greatest gloves, but they will help help me hit stuff. I'm probably showing the Pearl Dragon Arm because since I'm working the Shining One, I don't really need the negative energy resistance. And um, I'm actually thinking a little bit about my spells. You'll notice that Tornado right now is at 10% uh, fail cast. Part of the reason is because I'm wearing this um, ring mail here. If I put on, say, the Elven Mails, it uh, actually goes away. I shall do this right now. Take this off. As you can see, that, that uh, reduces to 4%, you know, having no armor on. So that's like my um, basic no armor fail chance. I put like on the Elven Armor, like this one. That still gives it 4%. So these uh, Elven Skimmels don't affect my ability to cast spells at all. So um, I'm thinking a little bit about what I'm going to do here. I'm basically going to keep this on for a little bit because it gives me just fire scene visibility and plus five, uh, you know, defense for, you know, the ability not to uh, worry about corrosion from it. So it's a nice little, you know, thing to be wearing and all that. Put this over to poison resistance for now. So where am I at in this, at this, at this point of the game? Um, right now I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with uh, the rest of this run. And... Well, I've got, you know, pretty decent um, equipment to use, but um, it's a question of how much I want to sacrifice for Tornado or how much I want to, uh, you know, buff up a piece of equipment so that I don't have to worry about it being corroded. And let's see here. I'll worry about that in a bit, though. My basic plan right now is basically go in. Head down to uh, level like you know two or three or whatever it was I was on. I think it was four now. We'll go this way. I don't see any uh, escape hatches. Go up here. There's a moth of raft. We'll go kill it. Butcher it. I don't see any uh, escape hatches on this level. So let's go in here. Alright, so basically what's happening, we've penetrated into three levels of the Realm of Zot last episode. Um, I managed to basically, you know, have this uh, sword rip apart through most stuff, and I'm currently training up long blades. Most likely I'll try and get to the 27, but I might stop at 25 just for a moment so I can start training up invocations, because um, invocations will help me with some of the Divine Warriors when, you know, I need it, and that's good to have. And we come right up to Shadow Dragon, that's like... Nothing to me because of the fact that uh, worshiping the Shining One gives me life protection free. Kill that. Kill him. There's an ant on the Gorman here, but I don't really care about that. I could pick it up. I mean, it's not that useful to me to be having Gorman on me. We'll drop this here. Butcher this. Gourmet is like not as beneficial because you'd have to take off other stuff so much that there's really no point to it. Go this way. There's a wand of hasting. Oh, that's awesome. That's just awesome. I don't really need it, but you know, it's still awesome. Well, I've been really lucky with wands of this uh, character, for sure. Hasting helper wands. There's an electric golem. I want to cast insulation. The fight missiles. He blinked. I'll do face shift, beat him up. There's long blaze 25. So we'll turn that off for a moment. I'll let the other stuff train a little bit. 
And let's just go up here. There's a tentacle monstrosity. And we'll put on Shroud. I'll beat him up a little bit. There's another way out to the other level. There's also a escape hatch down, but we won't worry about that since it's not exactly as beneficial as, um, you know, other levels where I you know I might rant land into the orb chamber and I just feel sucked over into. It's mostly rotten, so the Moffat Wrath meat is gone. Go up this way, go this way. There's some gold. Okay, we land right next to a bunch of draconians. I've got, let's see here, uh, a bunch of shifters, a zealot, other stuff. We're going to cast haste right away. Oh boy, they're both blinked near me. Um, we'll do phase shift. Um, it blinked me, I think, there. Uh... What makes me blink? Is that Teleport Utter doing that, or Dispersal? That could be it, they have Dispersal, I think. Let's, let's do Shroud. One of them is a purple, so I should be watching that. It's like Missile. And this guy's black, I wonder. This is Elot. Let's just melee you a little bit. Okay, he's dead. There's a yellow Draconian shifter here, so I have to watch him from corroding my equipment. Since that guy's dead, I can put on uh, conservation. I forgot that on it. Well, I want to put on mutation resistance or corrosion resistance so it doesn't damage me there. That's his regular cloak. There's these guys. Um. Let's let him get closer. He's got try until so he, he won't get closer. One and blinked. Let's hit the shifter. There's a dragon here. You know, here let's do uh, dispersal on these guys. Boom. So um, the multi dragon shifter partially resists. He blinks. The yellow shifter partially resists. He blinks. So they both blinked away from me. And I can possibly take out this uh, guy first. Let's go this way. Kill this guy. That's a couple. That's a couple of kills there. Um, just in case, let's do insulation. I'm leaving you down. He's dead. Kill you. Um, I deflect the passive cold, but I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Let's put on this. He's poisoned because he's in the. Ah, you want berserk. I got the poison ring on, so come on, die. Kill this Moffat Rat before there's something else. Kill this guy so I can take off the. Okay, I've got to watch this, these guys because they're going to possibly um, burn my stuff. I wish I've only got two scrolls. I don't really care then. Um, I don't care if I lose those scrolls, really. Put this on over to poison resistance. I'm more poisoned because I'm still in poison. Let's step here. Let's uh, murder this guy. Shop falls apart. Uh, I still have to flex missiles fast as going away though. Let's put on phase shift. Phase out of existence. Let's do dispersal. They disappeared. They disappeared. I actually made them all disappear there. So cool. Uh, I can look through all the stuff here now. No cloaks again. Ah, oh, well. Oh, there's one of the guys. Since uh, the other, you know, acid guy's away, I can put in conservation and save my scrolls. There's spellcasting 19. I'll keep that on for a little bit since I want to have the 20. No cloaks again. Let's heal up a little bit more. Contamination's gone. And we're full. Alright, that's what I want to see. So, um, let's continue on. I'm making a lot more use of Dispersal now, because it's actually a pretty powerful um, ability to uh, thin out stuff. 
Splash of Acid hits you, the acid burns, but I have corrosion resistance on, so whatever. Uh, for using, like, you know, dispersal, it actually works really well in these draconians because you can get them to go away from you and um, basically it re loses. Uh, oh no. Welcome to the abyss. So you sense a powerful magical force. Uh, what did he hit me with? I am very resistant to hostile champs, so that's apparently not enough to prevent being cast into the abyss. I better keep a note of that. Okay, well, let's find our way out. Maybe I'll find out quickly enough and I won't be here long. Be nice if I found it quickly. Flight. I've already got the ruin here from a couple episodes ago, I think, at this point. So there's no real benefit for me being in here already to get piety and. Well, to avoid getting killed if uh, I'm low health or something like that. Go this way. Go this way. Sun, blah blah blah. There's a Z lot. He's purple, so it kind of sucks to uh, smite me. Summon stuff. Hit him, hit him, kill the chaos spawn, kill the smoke demon. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. And, and no cloak figures. Uh, this way. Let's put on flight. Fly over here, nothing over here, nothing over there. Keep going because the abyss is opening up. How long will I be in the abyss this time? I don't know. Kako Demon, okay, mutation resistance on. Better watch him before uh, zapping me, so I better put on um, insulation. I've already got that on apparently. No, I don't. Feel insulated. There we go. Kill this guy. I need insulation. I know why. I have raised electricity from this. Forgot about that. Kill him. Kill him. Uh, Hellwing. Fly over here. I stepped into a Balrog. Uh, fireball. Uh, luckily, he's not too annoying, I don't think. Deflect Missile. I'll put on Phase Shift. Um, here's probably a good example of any like, teleport or what type of resistance does he have? He's extremely resistant. I'm not going to hit him with that then. Uh, let's back off like this and wait for him to be closer. He got stuck. Well, I'll take that because I don't really want to fight a Balrog. Day can burn my scrolls and just be overall annoying. White Imp. Scimitar. There's a empty arch. Uh, nothing really dangerous over there. So we'll just fly over, kill you, kill you. There's a Laguna altar. I wanted to change the Laguna, but I don't really want to change the Laguna. This is a decent scenario where, you know, I don't need to change the Laguna. Uh, we can go over here. Go this way. There's a fire bat. We'll kill those. You kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Abomination. Or fire bat. Flying skull. Abomination. White imp. Is it a Conan zombie? One moment. All right, we're back. We have a time difference, as you know, between those disconnects. Basically, um, you probably won't don't notice because I didn't say it, but just basically, nor'easter coming. That's going to be hitting us tonight, and I'm going to be 
probably getting 40 percent of the snow to shovel tomorrow. Um, gotta do preparations and all that. Yeah, that was what we want. Out we go. Time to die. Bass hit me with liquid flames. Ooh, he tried to put me in the abyss again. Yeah, we got. I think what happens is um, what they did with the uh, abyss uh, banishment and all that. You can't be put in the abyss twice, pretty much. You can be put in once, and then you have a little bit of abyss immunity for a little while. So you can't really hurt me again with that. So kill him, be done with him. Butcher him, eat him. What the? For a moment there, says, this tastes terrific. That would have been odd. There's a dragon. Deflect missiles. There's a scorcher down there, a gray decoding scorcher. That's multi cannon. Well, whatever. Kill this guy first. Now these guys have uh, um, trident, so I can probably just kill this guy with uh, pull projectile. Okay, he's down and out. Put this on, kill these guys. Keep dragging a little bit. None of these guys had any. Cloaks as we're keeping. Uh, it could be guys around stream, so I didn't help it. Let's go flog. Um, this. Um, EV's up. I want to charge, beat him up. Uh, he poisoned me. Put this on over. No, let's keep on the ring of slaying. It's not helping you too much to keep that on. Keep that slaying off for a moment. Oh, I'm overloaded. Why am I overloaded? Because I lost a lot from picking that off. So put this back on. The strength actually helps quite a bit in keeping my character able to carry stuff. Uh, Tentacle monstrosity. Dragon. We'll put on deflect missiles. Make sure it keeps on. Phase shift, you'll stay on. Uh, shroud, flight, back up. Fuck that. Chilling moan. What's a chilling moan for? Uh, my ability to get these draconians. This is almost enough to make me want to wear the swamp dragon armor or the elven, um, elven poison resistance armor. Kill you. There is apparently a dull robe up there. Okay, nothing on those guys. Um, uh, I figures. At least I have still have poison resistance on. Nothing on him. Pick this up. I'll see what it does because I've removed curse. This gives me dex minus four for plus two. Yeah, it's completely worthless to me. Drop this, charge you. Um, right, because I took off the uh, flight. This is still all that. Put this on, keep exploring. Scroll Holy Word is actually pretty beneficial right now. Enchant armor is worth keeping. Uh, dragon. Put that on, put this on. Uh,. He's now going to be eaten. Bone Dragon. We'll eat one of those. I'm actually going to put on this and this. Beat him up. Take that meat. Uh, we got remove curse there. Teleport that. Um, I feel more conductive, so we're going to put back on insulation. Okay, there's something scary. Um, I want to kill this guy quickly. He's resistant to poison and cold, but not fire, so we'll put on this bow. And ping, 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 
ping, ping. Okay, killed him before he uh, drained all my mana. Not that that really matters. He's going to drain quite a bunch of it anyways. Kill this guy. Um, that could, you know, kill my uh, equipment. And nothing on those guys in terms of, you know, I could be a shield. Okay, heal up here. Eat some flesh. Drop this. Heal up. I want to put conservation back on, and we'll go down the stairway. Apparently, got them all explored, so we're good to keep exploring. Off a of raft. Bolt trap. I don't care about bolt traps. And shoot, shoot him before he gets away. Protection, him. Distant Zots are going off for some reason. This protection ring will... Eh, not that great. If it's, you know, if, it's, if there's high enough protection, I might actually consider putting this stuff on, but... Bow, Berserk Rage, Golden Dragon. We'll put this on preemptively over this. And put on this, this, this. Flight, Shroud. Who knew he's gonna poison me? And uh, put on this over that. Off of Wrath. I'm actually getting hungry again. I'm gonna butcher this guy and eat him. I get nauseous from that, whatever. He's, he's trapped. I'm exploring. That's this level. I'm gonna make this a fairly quick le um episode, I think. We're probably not, I mean, you know, we're anywhere close to uh, completing this, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try clearing everything here except for the um, uh, Zot Chamber down here. So we'll actually preemptively go here and do this. And there's a Nihilator down here and Electric Golems and everything else. Um, move this way. Put this on preemptively. Put on haste. Deflect missiles. Um, I'm tempted to do control blink. I actually miscast that. That sucks. Let's do it again. And then go this way. Yep, he blinked again. I'm just kind of scared of all the stuff that's over here. I mean, the annihilator is kind of scary. The electric golem is nothing to uh, sneeze at. Feel hungry. I'm gonna equip this to deal with him because he's uh, resistant to a lot of stuff. I mean, electricity, poison, resistant to fire and cold, so you know, this is a better bow for him. Fire, 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 fire. fire. Uh, where'd he go? Kill you. Up oh, there's the draconians. We'll pull you up. Uh, equip this. Beat you up in Lee. <clears throat> so this is the bad staircase right now, because it's near the realm of Zot and all that. Uh, I blend into a Zot trap. I feel stupid twice. I now have int negative free. How nice. Let's go here. I'll have to deal with all down there eventually, but for now I can deal with, you know, just sort of, you know, hang around the other ways. Get that. You know, I'm actually tempted to use this enchant armor right now. I mean, I've got stuff to use it on. Specifically, I could use it on, uh, actually nothing here. I don't want to enchant any of this crap. Hungry, a wall. Um, push and berserk rage shatters. That sucks. Oh, boy, that's a not good place for him to be. I'm gonna do um, deflect missiles. Insulation. You put me in look at flame, but well, I'll get conservation on. I'll uh, melee him. I deflect crystal spear. He blinked. Um, 
let's put on face shift. He's got one of my move cursor scrolls, but that's fine. I won't really care about that as much anymore. Shroud. There it goes. And he's got a cloak, finally, of something useful. We're, we're going to go this way first to deal with any, you know, Dracones that left their own here. Oh boy, we got a cursed toe. Um, I want to deal with that guy, though, because they aren't too... Too scary when I got, you know, good weapons to hit him with. So, miss, miss, hit. Kill him quickly. Alright, there we go. He's done. Spellcasting is hit level 20. Um, I'm going to turn that off for a moment. We're actually going to up over invocation to get that up now. Uh, we'll hit the hungry ghost, the ghouls, the dragon. And we'll go up. Okay, so that's, you know, pretty interesting. Let's see what this cloak does. So this is a cloak of poison resistance. You feel healthy. That's not something bad to put on. Um, I guess. It's not, you know, a terrible cloak. Cold resistance sounds better, but this is also pretty good. So, you know, what? I'm going to keep this. Just so I don't have to waste enchant scrolls and a whole lot of stuff. Put this on, make it plus two, so you know it resists acid a little bit better. Drop this cloak. Now I don't need to worry about the poison resistance ring, so you know, great for me. Down here, uh, there's the that draconian. We'll do this, this. He didn't leave a corpse. There's a large shield over there. There's another. Draconian. I'm a bit scared of him blasting stuff here because, you know, he might get friends to come out of the orb chamber. There he is. I get nauseous from him, but whatever. There's really no reason to be conservative of my food, is there? But whatever. Let's put just one second. Okay, I don't see anything glancing in there. I don't want to tempt it, though. We're just going to or coming from the view, so it is an orb guardian to mess with me. Now, this is a risk I took, but whatever. It, uh, it's easy enough for me to kill. Kill him. Put on this. Feel hungry. There's an orchid buckler. Curry needles. Red draconian. Damn it, there's a Scorcher, and yeah, I don't want to be messing with both these guys, they're all those guys just yet, so we're just going to move like this. I'll put on this, 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 and this. He can come to me. I'll always beat him up. Shoot, we got that draconian now. Um, put this on. Okay, good thing to put insulation on. There's two of those guys there. Uh, I can take these guys though. Take him. Ah, oh, that's a bolt of lightning going there. Bunch more of these guys to go. Okay, that's done. That's nothing there. Note. Keep going. There's a bone dragon. I'm still getting near starving, but you know, I'm still nauseous. A bit annoying. Probably swore can't reach all places, so the orb chamber is, you know, down here and Alright, I'm finally able to eat food, so let's eat the meat ration. Let's go here. There is a dragon, I'll just kill. Got a conservation on, so I don't really care if he tries to burn me or anything. Up your turn to fight. Let's butcher him so I have you know his flesh for eating. Just gonna do a quick look around. I don't want anything too close to the Zod chamber when I go in there, so go here. I don't see anything. Air Dragon, take him I guess. Fight's twenty one. 
Turn that off, and I'll... Uh, yeah, why not? We'll get throwing up a little bit, too. I want to just even up throwing, just because it, it might be useful to have that skill. I don't know. No dragon. Oh, there's a killer crown coming. Um, haste. This. Kill you. Throwing's level 10, I'll take that. You will go off now, invocations goes up. Kill crown dies. Um, off of wrath. Let's do... Teleport utter. And he looks slightly unstable. He was went berserk, damn it. That's why I not want, didn't want to go on. Because now I have to deal with this guy under berserk. So he's done. I got rotting on me, so got to cure that. Uh, we're going to get out of here for now. Heal up. I'm actually going to do a few things. We're going to do this. And sort of heal up for a bit. Chunks gone away. Click, click. Alright, so... There's a Moth of Wrath somewhere. I have to deal with, but, you know, like all good things, it's just something I have to worry about later on. Is there some blaring well to the west and south? And there's definitely a couple of alarm traps in there. Go here. Okay, we've got a corporal orb guy right there, so that kind of creep me. We'll do this, this. Beat you up. One of the orb guards didn't come, so you got trapped or forgot about me. Looks like I trapped. There's a moth of wrath. We'll let it get to me. There's another orb guardian. Go here, go here. Looking fairly Okay, there's a bunch of core gardens over here. Guess haste, I'm just gonna run for these guys for a little bit. As I said, I'm gonna clear the orb chamber some other time. Not today. Invocation is twelve. What does that do for Okay, the main thing on reading invocations is that I want to get this down to like say zero percent. So you know. Don't have to worry about later. This is dot, blah blah. We'll uh, get out of here for now. Go to Dungeon 27. Found a blade trap, awesome. Alright, so uh, drop this. We're gonna eat one of these. And we'll, we'll actually run around here a little bit just to make sure the dungeon's all. Sort of cleared at this in this area. I uh, don't know what the scream was all about, but well, holy word, those might be worth ca carrying around with me. Um, I really don't know what the scream is all about. Don't know if you can hear it. Okay, we're up to like 34 minutes or so. Um, this will be pretty much the end of the episode, but now I'm going to just try to think about what I'm going to wear. So here's my plan. I'm thinking about using a Sea Invisible helmet, because that's a pretty good helmet to use. Um, I might put on the Bracers of Archery, just because of the fact that, you know, that's um, going to hurt my melee, but it'll give me a good bow ability to use. Um... I got poison resistance on my armor, so this is kind of worthless. But this is, you know, still wor worthwhile to use. And we're gonna take all this, and I'm gonna just use the chance scrolls on them now. Drop those. Drop this. Let's put you on. Put you on. Put this on. I 
a moment. All right, if it's uh, any time worth noting, it's almost time to get going on this then uh, video, get it finished and all that. Um, so basically, I don't need this poison resistance ammo anymore. So we're going to drop it. Sustainabilities might be... I actually keep this for the master resistance, actually, because, you know, master resistance would help me against shifters and stuff, so I'm going to keep it, my hand on it. The SR stuff is pretty much useless, though, to me, so whatever. Um, coal resistance, I have, like, none, so I guess I'll keep this ring. Wizardry. If this, like, you know, goes down to 3%, I might be happy, you know, not worrying about wizardry, but let's just see. That's the wrong ring. Um, put this back on over sling. This makes me 1%. I basically want to get this, like, maybe to yellow numbers, what I'm hoping for, pretty much, in terms of getting that down. Put that on. Strength ring. I think at this point we're going to drop the strength ring out and really need that. Um, wands. I got a lot of uh, cold fire wands to use. And teleport wands. Something I might actually consider is just trying to zap my way into the orb chamber in Ninja the Ruin. I haven't done that yet in one of my videos, but this would be a good, a good, you know, lots and lots of wands to use it with. I got the teleport ring, I've got control teleport, I've got everything just to get in there. The only reason I wouldn't do it is because I'm powerful enough I can just, you know, kill over the things, things in Zot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's get this and drop number. Number um, 5C, drop those, I don't need that many of that. Um, pick you all up. Uh, I still have a couple. I'm trying to think, what do I really need in there? And a lot of this stuff is nice and all, but I don't really need it for much in the uh, orb chamber. I guess we'll keep to pick up these. Pick up the sans scrolls. Just identify if there's something to identify in there. Books. Is there anything left to memorize? I got six spell levels left. I uh, can memorize something, hopefully. Useful. Something I think about getting was probably airstrike, but I don't really need that. There's really not a whole lot of spells I need. Believe it or not, I've, uh... I'm not really a magic casting character. It's like, you know, I've got a lot of these spells, and I'm upping spell casting, but there's really no reason to be upping spell casting for being able to cast spells. More spells, basically. I've already got, you know, all these spells. Alright, let's think here. My plan next time, I think, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these, like, arrows here and use them, like, to, you know, my advantage of, like, getting out on the orb run, but I won't use them just now for, uh, clearing it. I don't really need it. I got, you know, enough firepower of these bows. When I do, though, I'll probably dump this bow. I'll dump this bow. And, um, I'll just basically exclusively use the, uh, Krishna bow to get out of the, of the, on the orb run. This is an awesome bow for shooting stuff. Uh... I suppose all I have to do now is just do this. We'll enchant up the helmet. And we'll enchant up the scale mail. The air archeries. I actually don't have enough uh, to get all this to uh, good levels. Whoops. But whatever. Um, I don't have to use the... Uh, well, I don't have to use the um, uh, fire resistance from the scale mode yet, but I want to use it because it's... Uh, what can I say about it? Using the uh, fire resistance elven scale mill will help me a lot if there's orb of fires in the uh, you know orb chambers, so it's beneficial to keep it around. Alright, I'm uh, rambling at this point. There's really no point to keep going. I'm not going to do any more in this episode. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to finish off probably with the next episode, and... That'll be it. Take care.